and you are watching my channel Mom Chef A. And today we will be making a very simple but very useful thing. It's a vanilla cake. Yes, it's a very basic recipe, vanilla cake, very easy to make but then it's also very useful and necessary to know. Today I'll be doing a basic vanilla cake and then tomorrow I'll be making a nice fruit trifle out of it. So just stay tuned for this yummy trifle recipe and today we'll be doing the basis of that, that is sponge cake or vanilla cake. Have a look here, I have taken here 100 grams of butter that is salted butter I have taken we will just melt it a little bit at room temperature then in this bowl I have sifted together one and a half cup of maida that is plain flour and half tablespoon of baking powder this is vanilla essence one teaspoon of vanilla essence is needed two, egg, two eggs at room temperature three fourth cup of caster sugar and half cup of milk at room temperature that's it guys these are the only ingredients that are required and i have taken here a round cake tin of 9 inch and i have greased it well i have taken i have melted the butter a little bit in microwave you don't have to melt it completely it should be softened now i'll add this 3 4th cup of caster sugar to this and we'll beat it till smooth We'll add one teaspoon of vanilla essence to this. As I mentioned before in my earlier videos, also that essence should be added along with the fat. It gives the it gives the best taste. I have creamed the mixture nicely. You can see it has changed color. It has become very light. And now we'll add eggs to this. You have to add eggs one by one we'll beat this again now we'll add the second egg We have beaten the mixture for around 2 to 3 minutes and as you can see it has become very creamy and light. We will just scrape off from the sides and to this we will add our flour mixture. One third at a time. I'll add milk to this, half of the milk, again mix well and then the plain flour, likewise I'll do it till the whole flour mixture as well as milk is used up. Batter is ready now. This should be the consistency of batter. If it's thinner or thicker due to some reasons, you can, uh, if it's thinner, you can add a tablespoon of flour more or if it's thicker, you can add a bit of milk more. Now we'll pour this batter into this greased 9 inch round cake tin and keep it in oven to bake. This is ready to go into the oven now. I have preheated the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and I will be baking, baking this for 30 minutes. So friends I have kept the cake batter in oven uh, and I will bake it for 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. The oven was preheated and I will take it out at 30 minutes and I will insert a toothpick just in the center to check whether it's done. If it comes out clean means it's done and if not I will bake it for 5 to 10 minutes more. And then we'll demold it. I have taken the cake out of the oven. It took uh, around 
40 minutes all together and I baked it for 40 minutes and then just 2 minutes I just kept the top element on so you get a nice brown colouring oh my god it's hot and it smells heavenly guys trust me and what else I was saying yes 2 minutes I just kept the top element on so that you get a nice brown colour over it and as you can see the cake has risen very nicely and it has a nice dome shape I'll just insert a toothpick in center and see it has come out clean. So our cake is done. We'll let it rest for some time and then we'll demold it. So friends our soft and spongy basic vanilla cake is ready now. And you can see it's very soft and spongy. And I have garnished it with a little bit of dried blueberries and you can just serve it as it is with tea or for the breakfast but you can also use this in a number of different recipes. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed our today's simple, basic but very useful recipe of vanilla cake or sponge cake with eggs and as I told you I will be using this cake to make a travel pudding. So subscribe to my channel that is Hobby Chef Ed and my blog www.hobbychef.in to be updated about my new recipes and reviews. Till then take care. Bye bye.